Hello guys, Wildox Studios here, and today we're going to go over the 2D skeletal system that is on Marketplace. So you'll see in the asset pack, um, it comes with a game mode. Um, this game mode is going to be associated with a test map, um, and you'll have two character blueprints set up for you. Um, the BP character is a base class. Um, it's just based on the character base class. Um, it has your uh, enhanced input system set up, uh, movement for left, right, um, and then it's going to also invert the character based on your direction since this is a 2D character. Um, and then you're going to have a child class which basically just has overrides to the material. Um, so because this is a 2D skeletal system and not sprite based, these are going to be uh, material instances, and we can kind of drill out here, and I can go over that for a second. So you'll have your base material. Base material is pretty simple. It's just your um, texture with your opacity mask, and because this is um, set up for a default hybrid 3D slash 2D uh, setup, it is lit. So you'll see that it casts shadows. Um, doesn't have to be that way. You can make this unlit and this can behave similar to any sprite based 2d system but because this is uh, a skeletal system um it's set up to use materials um and the 2d assets are set up as sprite groups or should i say sprite groups uh planes over a skeletal system um and we can go look at that skeletal system right now um so as you can see, your character is here, and he has mesh parts like any other character would. Um, and if we go look at the skeleton, you can see that he's set up with a 2D rig. And what this means is, is the character can be animated with an animation blueprint. And you'll see that we have a, um, the animations for set up here and your animation blueprint and a blend space for like idle run. Um, so you have your idle animation that you would normally associate with a 3D character. Um, and then as we pull this speed up, it, it goes into the, the run. Um, and you can hit play here. It's all set up for you. And as you hit left or right or jump, you'll see that the animations play out the way that you would expect. Um, because this 2D character has a rig and has a skeleton, provided in the pack also is... Um, uh, basically a character tools section with some sequences where I've um, pre set up um, we need to open the character creator map where I've pre set up these animations uh, basically to show you um, how to go about animating or creating animations from a sequence um, using the character's control rig. So, um, let me see if I can actually get the uh, control rig to show. There we go. So, um, a control rig is provided for you, and you can see each of the controls listed over here in the animation outliner, and each one of these controls controls the body part that basically you would think it would control so this is like for um, the body rotation um, and you can transform it and like uh, grab it and move it around and this is similar to how the process I went through to key out and uh, motion the um, the jump and the idle and any other additional animation that you would like to make the awesome thing about uh, you know these characters having a rig um, and animation blueprint is we can support socketed weapons, right? So over here you'll see I've set up the the static mesh, um, which is again a plane, but uh, have also applied this material instance for the weapon. And as you can see, you can swap weapons as simply as changing out the material. Um, so. 
this 2D animation system basically provides you something that would you would you would find in other game engines where you have like motion tweening or, or two dimensional rigs, um, and if you want to, um, you can create your own characters uh, based on just you know um, materialing out the mesh parts that you would apply to the planes here, and if you wanted to take this a step further, you can enable the skeletal. Um, which is it, it's in beta right now um, but you can en enable the the skeletal mesh editing tools and you can modify the layering um, of, of the skeleton to adjust the um, the bone location for these characters so um, to go over what that <laughs> what that means is if we click on um, you go to the skeleton if we click on one of these body parts um, in a 2d system layering matters or it, it's important because you want the head to be at a location on the y-axis that is in front of the body and you want the same thing for like the arm and then you want the same thing like in relation to the body um, so if you look at these y-axis locations you'll see that you know the attachment for the weapon is at a certain layer um, which is in relative to the hand which is at another Y position relative to the arm which is at another Y position so on and so forth um, so what this means is as you want to have you know individual mesh parts at certain positions so like say the face you don't want it blending in with the body or the arms or whatever you want it stacked at a certain y-axis um, it would be the t you know the outermost layer and then you would go negative into y space to bring items like deeper into the background um, and this can be done with the skeletal system editor uh, plugin without having to export out to blender or do anything fancy um, so that i just wanted to mention that um, it's not enabled by default, but it is a very useful tool for working with the 2D character space. Um, yeah, all of the weighting is done for you for each one of these items. It, it, within the skeletal editor, you should be able to like study how the weighting is applied to each one of the planes. Um, and as always, reach out to the Wild Ox Studios Discord if you need any assistance with anything for the Marketplace asset. Toodles and happy developings.